to welcome back our colleague Dave Strader to the booth today. Dave returned to the Dallas Stars for play-by-play -play responsibilities last week after announcing this past June that he was battling a rare form of cancer. Strades is a veteran of calling hockey games for 37 years. And I am so honored and proud to welcome back Dave Strader. And Strades, I know when you got your diagnosis, you wondered if you would ever be back in the booth. Well, here you are. So what's the biggest message you'd like to share with the people who along the way have really helped you over the course of this nine month journey? Well, Catherine, first of all, thanks for the notes of encouragement that you have sent along and, and many others in the uh, NBC family, including the guys that are sitting next to you there on the, on the panel today. But any list of thank yous begins with my wife, Colleen. We've been, been together since high school in the early 70s, married over 40 years. So I don't know where I'd be without her love and support. Our three boys. Chris, wife Karen, uh, little granddaughter Sydney, Casey, his wife Dr. Mary, and our new grandson Charlie, and our singer actor in New York, Trevor. Their strength and maturity through the, all of this has been so important. Uh, my siblings, Dr. Steve, Scott, Debbie, and their families have been supportive. All of our friends in Glens Falls have meant so much to us over this nine month journey. Speaking of family, the NHL family, I've gotten texts and, and other messages of support from GMs, coaches, players. Of course, fellow broadcasters and the fans, especially the fans here in Dallas, have just been unbelievable. The Stars organization, uh, owner Tom Gallardi, general manager Jim Nill, whose wife Becky is fighting a courageous battle with cancer. She's been a great inspiration to me. And President Jim Lights, the organization has just been so supportive of our entire family. And I have to thank the medical community. It started with the team doctors here at UT Southwestern, my hometown of Glens Falls, the Glens Falls Hospital, where I was diagnosed and then moved on to Mass General in Boston, where the surgeons and doctors are, are so terrific. And the oncology department at St. Peter's in Albany has uh, has meant a lot to me. All of these people in, in every one of these categories has helped me battle a very rare cancer, as Catherine mentioned, uh, cholangial carcinoma. Only 6,000 cases reported in the United States each year. And February is cholangial carcinoma awareness month. And, and it's even more important for disease like this because people don't aren't even aware that it exists. But cholangiocarcinoma.org. The Calangio Carcinoma Foundation is where you can go and get all the information about what's being done and how you can help. And finally, a special thank you to Sam Flood and NBC Sports for allowing me the opportunity to tell my story. But speaking of stories, we have a story to tell about a hockey game, and uh, we bring in a guy that's also been very supportive in my battle, Daryl Ray. And Ray's